Well, uh, once again, thanks for coming out. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. Um, we do have a, a, tush, a tough task ahead of us, uh, going to a, another stadium where, uh, like like at Marshall, uh, Southern Miss won a lot of games. They've got a great tradition. I've had a lot of good players come through that program. I know their coach extremely well. Uh, another guy on their staff that I coached with, uh, Coach Billings, for a long time. He and I sat in the same room. So uh, they're a well-coached football team. Uh, they got seniors on both sides of the ball. They got a senior punter. Um, so we got a, a tough challenge ahead of us. Um, we had a good week last week uh, working on our fundamentals, uh, getting started on Southern Miss. Uh, we need to have a great week of practice this week uh, to give ourselves a chance to to be successful in this game. But uh, you know this this crowd's pretty good. Uh, they they got a good defense. They're good up front on defense. Uh, they beat up on us pretty good last year here. Uh, quarterback's back. Uh, Smith, the running back, I think is like the guy at uh, uh, Temple. Uh, he's a fine player. So uh, we're going to have to play well uh, all three phases of the game to uh, go down there and, and win this game. Our guys are excited about this opportunity. Um, got a shot in the arm going on the road and winning our last game out. So um, they understand what lies ahead of them. But uh, you know we're excited about the opportunity to go out and, and compete once again in this league and in a tough, tough environment. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, just you know, we just try to stay in the in the moment with our guys week to week, and our guys have done a good job preparing. We just didn't finish a couple of times here at home. We didn't finish the FIU game. Uh, you know, we did on the road. You know, went down the last play the last three weeks. So, um, you know, I don't know. Our guys just you know, they've stayed in the moment. And they're practicing hard and preparing hard, and and uh, get on the road and just just try to find a way to to win the game. Well, that's always a benefit, uh, you know, to have the week off, um, mainly to get guys healthy, you know, guys that got beat up at Marshall. You know, hopefully we can get some of those guys back. We'll have Terrence Winchester back for the first time in a long time, so uh, he'll make the trip. Uh, we did lose Eugene. Uh, we don't have Eugene German. He broke his arm, so he'll be out. Uh, uh, but we got the big guy back, uh, so he had to play a little more at Marshall than I wanted uh, based on – uh, Eugene getting hurt. I was trying to limit Jamal's reps, uh, but once we lost uh, Eugene, we had to we had to play Jamal a little bit more, and he reacted well. So, having that extra week in there for guys to you know just just gather themselves physically, I think is the the main thing. Terrence Winchester should be back. He's he's going to make the trip. He's practiced uh, practiced a little bit last week. Uh, went went uh, yesterday. He'll practice today. Um, his will just be a matter of he's physically he's ready to go, but if his shoulder will stay in place, you know that's always going to be the deal with him. And and uh, but he's he's excited to be back, and you know it's his last go around like Jamal. So uh, these seniors they want to finish out strong. So uh, yeah, we'll have Terrence back. Well, we're just older, um, you know, and our guys been through the league now. Um, so you know we've played Southern Miss before, we played Marshall before, so. You know, we know we know they're good football teams and, and they have good players, so you just you gotta limit big plays, you gotta run the ball, uh, you gotta be solid in your kicking game and give yourself a chance to win at the end of the game. And and we've really preached to our team this year about, you know, expect something good to happen at the end. You know, don't 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 expect something bad to happen. Let's just play through it and expect something good to happen and and uh, see what happens in the end. Uh, it's been a blessing to get to play early. Thankful for the coaches for the opportunity, but I mean, coming in, Coach Adams told me that they'll give me the opportunity, that it was going to be up to me what I do with it. And so the biggest thing for me is I'm just very happy that I can produce this season. A lot of freshmen, when they come in, if they play as true freshmen, aren't able to have an impact. So I've just been thankful to have an impact, you know, help the team win, first conference win. Really big, just really thankful for the opportunity. Um, really watched them this week. They're Everyone respects them. They're a powerhouse program, but I mean, Charlotte football, I think if we come in confident and really studying their tape, studying what they've done to opponents, what they plan on doing to us, and how through our preparation we can take those mistakes out, I think that will be the big thing. Uh, as an offense, I feel like we have to really – it starts with practice this week, and uh, they have a lot of talent, especially in their front seven. Uh, they have some – really talented defensive linemen as well as uh, linebackers. It's just really focusing in on making sure we're watching film, watching, studying the things that they do, as well as uh, improving ourselves from the previous weeks and really honing in and taking advantage of this opportunity.
Uh, definitely, that's something I try to hold my this, a standard of excellence that I have for myself and uh, my teammates as well is being the absolute best and giving it everything you have and everything that you do. And that's something I want my life to be a living testimony of that I gave it everything I had and everything I do. And I was I had that standard of excellence, whether it was on the football field or whether it was in the classroom, or whether it was impacting other people's lives. That's something that I'm really trying to hone in on and really have that display my character no we're just uh we're we're really just trying to win this one um you know you can't get anywhere until you win the next one so uh you know i've just made a big point to our team about you know it's easy to get caught up in you know we're doing good and we won't beat marshall and you know yada 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 you know we we got a tough task ahead of us and for us to to be successful at southern miss we got to prepare like we've never prepared before so we're just trying to really stay in the moment with our team and and, and attack this day and and uh, get the most out of tuesday that we can well you know it, it, anytime you can win at a place like that i mean it's it's big for our program, we're young. We've only been playing four years. You know, Southern Miss, you look in the game notes, they've been playing for 100 years. And, you know, Marshall's been playing a long time and had a lot of wins at home. We had a great home record. So uh, it was good for our for our program, you know, as young as we are, to go on the road and and, and be successful at a place like that. So it was, it was, uh, it was good all the way around. Uh, had a little special ties for me, obviously, but I don't know that it affected our team. Our team, you know, they've never been there before. So... Um, meant something to the, the fifth-year seniors, I think, because Coach Ratliff was such an integral part of bringing them here and coaching those guys. And, and um, you know, we kind of talked about, you know, he was really looking forward to going back there and play. And then so we just, you know, we wanted to go out and leave it all on the field. We do every week. And and so it was it was special. It was, uh, you know, it was good to be back. Saw a lot of former players. But, uh, you know, for our guys, it was it was just really big for our program to, to be successful. Well, you know, it's. Uh, I think there's been a lot of you know things involved. Hassan, one of them. Uh, I think he's really responded well. He's responded like I thought he would, uh, from the standpoint of he's been the same. Whether he was the backup, the third team guy, he was didn't play at all last year, or now the starter. He prepares hard every week, and he was ready for his opportunity. And I think that's a testament for all the guys that aren't playing. You know, when your opportunity comes, are you ready? And Hassan was ready for that that opportunity, and he's, you know, trying to take advantage of it. Uh, he's by no stretch playing perfect, uh, but he's doing well, and and uh, he's given us a little added something. So um, we're trying to take advantage of that.